Hi, welcome back to RC Nerd, right? As everybody's been waiting. The lights on the front. There you go. And then you come over to the back. There they are. There the light clusters are made. We've even got two spare holes here, so I'm gonna um, tell you the truth. I'm just gonna leave them till I've come up with an idea what to stick them. I should probably put another set of red lights on to give it more of a backlight. But not very bright and though, um, so I might do that, yeah, but it looks the job, it's nothing special, you know, it is quite bright as well, so I'm going to a beam quite far away actually, um, and what it did as well, sorry about this, I'm on the camera today, um, so I've had these special brackets that go on, if you wear, bear with me, I'll show you, get these from Tamiya. These are um, LED stoppers. Actually, I think that's the number there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that one there. Tamiya 58390. I'm sure that's the number. Yeah, these are like little stoppers, so I'm quite made up with it because the only trouble I did have was that because I've got a low power frequency, it's not like the old AMs, I can't drive a lot off it, so I've had to rig a humble 9 volt up there, so you can just see inside it, you can see that I've packed it into there, so we've got, um, yeah, we've got a nice looking car now, next to nothing as usual. How did I make these? Somebody asked me. Right, you want the questions to that? You want the answers to that question? These are. Wait a minute. Thank you. These are. Um, they were wheel caps I got from. Uh, my friend got them here. I think they're from some auto place. You might find them in your auto shop or something like that. They're just dust caps. Then what I did, I drilled the back out. Uh, drilled the back out. And put the LED and then super glued it, and it gives it this. Um, this evil look. There you go. Um, they usually come on, but they're not bright enough for my liking, so they've been turned off for now. Um, <clears throat> so we have them on there. I'm going to put two more up tomorrow, so I'll have. Well, I'll have four on it then. It's running a 9 volt battery now, so I'm going to get myself a little battery to go in there. Um, because I went to rig it through the electronic speed controller, um, radio receiver, but it was having none of it, so I'm not even going to push it if we can't take it, can't take it. Um, running an old 9 volt again, so if I just put my hand in there, you watch there, I pull this, and it goes off. Less battery usage, more battery power for the motor. So there you go. Jackal's ready. Ah, right. Only sub new subscribers. These are transfers. This is not a printed body. You can't. This is all my own design. The company I used is called Jackal. So Jackal um, emailed me. So look, we got some of this. Um, got some of these transfers here and I was like oh have you he said yeah I said well let me buy some off you and I did and I put them all over the car I put them on the, the bonnet these are all transfers underneath like you get on model little plastic model cars and then what you do you spray over it so there you go and the best thing is it's multicolored as well so you got like every so like 30,000 shades or something like that 40 shades of grey <laughs> I bet. Um, yeah, so there you go. If I stick that light on, you get a mad blue. See, well, you can't see it on there, it's like a mad blue going over it. Anyway, there you go. So, I can put, I can put Jackal back with the bitches. Um, so that's one for you, Paul. Hope you enjoyed that. So that was like the longest I've done. Actually, if you want to see the back now, there's the back lights. Still more LEDs to go on, but I want to do something here that I want to keep to myself. 
because it's going to look amazing when I've finished. I've got the idea from and something off the F1 and I'm going to try it on this so it looks quite smart. Well, you won't have the arse in the dark then, will you? Um, let's have a look. Also, Paul on 80 straight away. Look where your bumper is, Paul. It's on the bandit. See, I, I like the old traditional buggies where if you hit, that's going to protect the wheel more than that stupid U lip, as I call it. So now I have the front bumper off the slash on here, which means I'm going to put a rack of lights on the front. It's going to be insane, but it's going to be done. So there you go, anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> That was to say really, it's done, it's ready, you know, I've done it and I hope you enjoy watching it, so I'm gonna go in now and play on my PlayStation. Cheers!